Greetings Mr. Elijah, I trust you are doing well. This is a requested video in preparation for your final exams. Okay, cool, cool. First and foremost, we are going to do quite a number of sections in this video as per your request. Um, and random questions also, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. First of all, let's look at balancing. Balancing equations. Equations. Okay, cool. Um, so I received four questions on this one, which are zinc plus silver nitrate. Okay, it's AgNO3. Don't worry about it. Um, then it's Zn, NO3. There's a two right there plus Ag. Right, Ag is silver, by the way. Okay, cool. Um, as we said before that, okay, these two right here affect everything inside the bracket. I suggested initially during our sessions that um, it's better to start with the complex, you know, compounds, right, and end with these ones because whatever you put in front of zinc here will only affect zinc and whatever you put in front of silver will, will only affect silver. However, if I put something in front of silver nitrate, it's going to affect silver, it's going to affect nitrogen, it's going to affect you know, oxygen. So um, it's better to start with these ones and then end with these ones right here. Okay, cool. First of all, let's look at this one silver here, one silver right there, and then we are done. One nitrogen here, but there are two nitrogens here. So to balance that, I'm going to put a two. Let me just grab another color. I'm going to put a two right here. You know, so we've got two nitrogens on the reactant side and two nitrogens on the products. However, our two do not only affect um, 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 nitrogen, it, all, it also affected silver right here. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to look at that as we go further. Cool, cool. Secondly, um, there are how many oxygens? Three times two. So it's six oxygens on the reactant side. And then, and then on the product, it's also three times two, six um, oxygen so we're done with that now we can come to our um, single um, element so there are two um, silver um, elements right here you know what I'm saying so in order to balance that we're gonna put a two here so we've got two two right both on the reactants and products and lastly we've got one zinc right here and also here it's one so we are done with the first one cool cool so the second one that I received was um, Al2CO3. Um, then there was a three right there to give Al2O3 plus CO2. Okay, cool. So looking at this one, um, Mr. Elijah, we've got two um um aluminiums right here and then here it's two so we are done with that let's look at the carbons we've got um three carbons right here you know what i'm saying but if you come this side you only have one so to balance that we're gonna put a three a three right here so we've got three carbons on the reactant side and three carbons on the product then <clears throat> finally let's look at the oxygens we've got how many oxygens and just take note that this will not be 3 plus 3, but it's going to be 3 multiplied by 3. So we've got 9 oxygens right here on the reactant side. So if you look in, in the product now, we've got 3 right here plus 3 times 2, it's 6. So we've got 9 um, oxygens also. So this equation is balanced. Okay, cool. The third one um, I received was MGBR2 uh, um, plus... KOH right to give um, KBR plus MGOH2. Okay, cool. So this is the one I received. So in this case, we do not have any self standing element that is alone. So we're just gonna dive right into it from the get go. So we've got one magnesium here and one here. So we're done with that. Let's look at the BR. So we've got two here but one here. So to balance that, we're going to put a two right here. Okay, cool. Um, we look at potassium, right? So we've got one here and then we've got two here. So to balance that, we're going to put a two right here. So let's look. Um, we've got two potassiums and here also um, two, two K, right? 
cool cool and then let's look at the oxygens we've got two oxygens right here then when you come here we've got this is the oxygen multiplied by two so it's also two so we are fine then lastly we look at the hydrogens we've got two hydrogens here if you come here we also have two hydrogens so we are done with this one then we go to the last one um it was c4 h8 um o2 plus um o2 to give water h2o plus um carbon dioxide co2 okay cool first and foremost um in here the last element that you're going to look at is oxygen because of um whatever put in front of it is only going to affect oxygen okay let's start from um um the carbon um elements right here okay we've got four carbons here if you come here we only have one so we're going to put a four here cool cool so we are done with the carbons we come to the hydrogens we've got eight here but here we've got two so to make it eight we're going to put a four here right okay cool and then nextly next we, we look at hydrogens uh, sorry oxygens we've got two plus two which is four right but if you come here we've got four oxygens plus um four times two what is four times two four times two is eight plus four is twelve right but here we only have four so what number can we put in front of oxygen in order for um, our oxygens to be balanced and remember at this time we're only left with oxygen so we cannot put anything in front here because of if you can put something here it's going to affect all these other elements that we have already balanced you know so um so it's two here right we need 10 more so it's two here so we're going to put a five you know what i'm saying so i'm um, quite aware that you might be used to twos to twos and um um threes but even four and five um, you can use that to actually balance um, things like this, you know. Okay, cool. Do stay blessed. And um, I'm going to cut this video and then we're going go, to go to the next part on the second video.